Okay, so I got this one. This one is actually off a newer one. And you can see it's not quite the same here. So I'm going to have to drill some holes out for these uh, catches. And, uh, and so, yeah, it's going to be a little bit of retrofit here. This is the newer style. And you can tell by this hole right here. It's where the water valve goes in. This one doesn't have that. Uh, but, and then also this hole for this thing. The screw. I'm going to have to drill a hole in here for the screw. Since I get it on there and everything. Okay, I got a drill and some dice. And I cut these little holes out here. Here's the old one. You can see I kind of like uh, tried to bondo it up. Um, and so since I got one here that doesn't have any rust, except for that surface rust can be uh, buffed out. Uh, I'm going to take and uh, put that one on this one. And so basically we got screws, these four screws that hold that top part on. Okay, got the old one off, new one on. And uh, get the holes set up. I'm going to have to drill a hole here because these little things that hold the timer console on, these little plastic things, got to go in. Um, on this other style, this is a little bit different. This and this is a little bit different. So on the newer one, we don't have these on the back. So what I have to do is put a piece across here to hold the top on. And what else? That lid switch. Lid switch I just bypass. You can see this just doesn't have anything for that to grab on, so I'm gonna have to put something here maybe or possibly um yeah, put something across there. I had to put screws in here with, with nuts. So this is gonna have to be a screw with a nut. I primered the edge of this a little bit, so that's gonna prevent the rust there sprayed this in here as well to prevent the rust so keep on going okay close close to getting down here uh, so the only thing is is that uh, you see this thing here basically kind of rough but works uh, but these little holes here do not line up as well so this one here, you can see how the holes line up there. They don't line up perfectly the way ideally it should be. I'm going to have to drill some holes. Um, and then that screw's got to go in there. Otherwise, got rid of the rust. Got rid of the rust bucket. Bondo job. And, uh, back together I just got my uh, I just got my new uh, soldering workstation and uh, this has got it's got an air heater so it'll heat a chip and then it also has a soldering gun it's adjustable temperature and then I got this computer somebody sent me to work on um, so 47 bucks to ship it it's a uh, the Dell uh, Optiplex. Okay, sun finally came out. What I ended up doing is I just put a piece of metal here and kind of bolted everything down. That way this is connected to that. That's connected to that. And it seems to be fine. So that's how to get rid of rust on your old top. If you got something around you can clean up. This should clean up pretty good with some uh, car wax. And uh, don't have any major rust. And so I do have extra parts. I have tons of extra parts, good use parts. If you need any, you can contact me, BassTech72588 at Gmail. I can also recondition your old machine if you'd like. Get rid of some of that rust, replace some parts.